Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we will be solving one very interesting radical equation. Equation is x square plus 18x plus 30 equal to 2 times square root of x square plus 18x plus 45. We have to find out real values of x. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to consider actually substitution after writing this 45 into 30 plus 15. Now you can see if I will give substitution this one is equal to t then what will happen. Okay, let me write here first I will write that completely x square plus 18x plus 30 is equal to 2 times square root x square plus 18x plus 30 plus 15. This is what I am is splitting 45 into 30 plus 15. Now I will give substitution this one as t. Okay, so equation will become t is equal to 2 times square root t plus 15. Done. Take square both sides. So after squaring both sides, we will have 4 times t plus 15. We have taken squaring. So at last we have to check for extraneous solution. Okay, so I will write t square minus 4t minus 60 equal to 0. Okay, if I will split by splitting, let me apply the formula minus b. So 4 plus minus square root b square 16 minus 4ac. So plus 240 divided by 2. 4 plus minus 256 divided by 2. This division is for both. Okay, let's put in the bracket. So 4 plus minus 16 divided by 2. So if I will consider plus sign in between then 20 over 2 10 minus sign in between minus 12 over 2 minus 6. So there are two t values t equal to 10, t equal to minus 6. We can check here the possibility of x values also. What I am trying to say, let me write here. If we are finding for real solution, then we can write x square plus 18x plus 45. It should be greater than or equal to 0. It cannot be negative because of real solution. If I will factorize this one, I will split 18 as 15x plus 3x. Then I will factorize this one. See, it will be like this. Okay. I will take x common from the first two. I will be having x plus 15. 3 common from the last two. I will have x plus 15. x plus 15 is common. So I will take x plus 15 completely out from the bracket. So it will be like this. Now if you will check using number line, then this condition is coming out. That is x should be less than or equal to minus 15. This is one condition. And second condition is x should be greater than or equal to negative 3. This problem is very good problem because of this condition won't make any help to us. Let's see how. Now I will put because of our substitution, this was t. So let me put t is equal to 10 and minus 6. So let me put the value of t. x square plus 18x plus 30 equal to 10. So let us write both the equation parallelly. x square plus 18x plus 30 equal to negative 6. Okay, done. Now I will solve both the quadratic equations. Let me write both on one side. Plus 20 equal to 0. Second equation will be x square plus 18x plus 36 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. Minus b minus 18 plus minus square root b square. So 324. It is the square of 18 minus 4ac. So minus 18 divided by 2a so 2 minus 18 plus minus 
this will become 324 minus 80 that would be 244 divided by 2. Now we know that 61 times 4 is 244. So let me write 61 times 4. So 2 root 61 over 2 divide by 2. So finally I will be having minus 9 plus minus sorry root 61. That would be two values of x. And two extraneous solution which we are thinking because we have taken a squaring both sides. Let us solve this one also. x square plus, so let me write x directly minus b. So minus 18 plus minus square root. Again I will write 324. 36 times 4, so 144. Divided by 2a2. 2 2. 324 minus 144 then it would be square root 180. Again I will write 45 times 4. So it will give us 2 root 45 divided by 2. So x will become minus 9 plus minus root 45. So there are 4 values. Now by the condition, let me write all the 4 values all together. So x is equal to minus 9 plus minus root 61. So two values let me write here minus 9 plus root 61 minus 9 minus root 61 done. Second solution was x is equal to minus 9 plus minus root 45. So I will again split with the sign in between. So I will write x is equal to minus 9 plus root 45 and minus 9 minus root 45. Done. If you will check all the four values. So every value is in the interval which we calculated from square root positive domain calculation. That calculation was x less than minus 15 and x greater than minus 3. This was the condition. x should not be in between minus 15 and minus 3 excluded. Okay. So if you will check this value minus 9 plus root 61. So I will consider minus 9 plus root 61 would be somewhere around 7.8. So this value is minus 1.2. You can see and it is lying in the interval true interval. This value also you can check minus 9 minus 7.8 so 9 plus 7 16 negative 16.8 it is still in the valid domain so all four values are satisfying the condition that is why this problem is very very good x is equal to if you will check this value it is coming out approximately i am writing negative 2.2 and last value if you will check this value is coming out negative 15.8 so that is lying in the true domain of the conditions i am going to verify these two values because i have actually solved these two values i will check only for so both values are actually extraneous solution extraneous so let me verify it is extraneous so minus 2.2 and minus 15.8 I will check. The remaining two values are true which is minus 9 plus minus root 61 is the true answer. Okay. So let's verify these two extraneous solution. Let me verify. I will write x is equal to minus 2.2. Okay. LHS. I will write minus 2.2 whole square plus 18 times minus 2.2 plus 30 and RHS would be 2 times square root minus 2.2 whole square plus 18 times minus 2.2 plus 45. Okay. If I will put the value. So values are 4.84 approximate value it is. Uh, second value is 18 times minus 2.2 that value is minus 39.6 plus 30. You can see if I will add my LHS is negative. 
see the RHS behavior. Two times square root, two point two square is four point eight four. Eighteen times minus this value, it is minus thirty nine point six plus forty five. Forty five plus four forty nine. It is more than three point five. Value would be positive. So this solution is rejected. Okay, because of it is extraneous solution. Now you can check the second value. X is equal to it was minus fifteen point eight. Let's check. I will do the same thing. Minus fifteen point eight whole square. LHS plus eighteen times minus fifteen point eight plus thirty. It should be equal to two times square root minus fifteen point eight whole square plus eighteen times minus fifteen point eight plus forty five. Let's see the value. Minus fifteen point eight whole square is. Two forty nine point six four positive sign minus this value is two eighty four point four with negative sign. Important is sign plus thirty. If I will add both and see two eighty four is bigger number, so LHS is again negative and RHS will come out the same value. It is two forty nine point six four minus two eighty four point four. And see, once I will add 45 to positive number 249, it will exceed 284. So square root of positive number, this side must be positive. So again, this would be rejected. So two extraneous are rejected. Accepted solution is we have already written that value was minus nine plus minus. Let let me write here minus nine plus minus square root 61. I hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video